So this is our trial balance. The next step is that we will do an income statement. So under an income statement, you know how to do it. What we are going to do is present the income and the expenses. Okay. Oh, by the way, class, trial balance, debit and credit, because it will prove the equality of debit and credit. For your financial statements, you don't have to write debit and credit. Income statement presents the performance, so you have to present the service income and the expenses. You have to deduct the expenses. So from there, you will be able to calculate the net profit or net loss. So in this case, it is a net profit because service income is higher than total expenses. So we have, we were able to calculate our net profit. Okay, and the next statement that we have to do is the statement of owner's equity. Always take note, class, of the data because it is for the period. So it's put for the month ended February 28, 2018. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. The period should be supposed to be for the month ended uh, March. This is supposed to be March because we have included March transactions. My apologies on that. So we will just correct the date. It has to be March. And here, for the month ended March, and then after getting the income statement, preparing the income statement, we are now going to prepare the statement of owner's equity. So we will write the owner's capital beginning, then we will deduct the drawing, and then we will add the net profit for the period. So if you will know this 23,000 is from your net, uh, from your income statement, okay? So our owner's capital end is 411,000. So this 411,000 will be presented in the preparation of your statement of financial position. As I have said class, if you will not prepare a statement of owner's equity, this accounts will be presented uh, in your statement of financial position, okay? But in as much as we have prepared a statement of owner's equity, bali hindi na natin ididetalye yan sa statement of financial position, ito na lang ilalagay natin, okay? Yung owner's capital N. Okay, if we are going to prepare the statement of financial position, Okay, we have to uh, first list all of our assets and then first start with current assets, which are cash, accounts receivable, office supplies, okay, and then get the total. Then we will have the non-current assets, equipment, then furniture, and get the total. Okay, you can present this accounts over here and just the total over here it doesn't matter but because we put a line here so it means that we are adding this with this subtotal okay so in this case total current assets plus total non-current assets will give you total assets of 642,000 so the next thing is that we have to get the liabilities and equity our liabilities is accounts payable so we have to write first the current liabilities, accounts payable of 41500 then the loans payable of 190000 That is the non-current liabilities. Okay? In as much as we only have one, okay, we can just, we don't have to uh, add the total and do something like that. So we can just add directly. So the total liability is 231500 and we have already done our equity and our own capital and is 411,000. Adding our liabilities and owner's capital, we have a total liabilities and equity of 642,000. It has to be balanced, class. Your total assets should be equal with your total liabilities and equity. Okay? If it's not balanced, there is something wrong. Okay? So that's why you cannot proceed. If your trial balance is not balanced so by the way I got I want to repeat it again uh, we have to correct the date the date should be March 30th March 
31st, okay? 2018. Okay. Any question, class? Okay, so let me know if you have questions. Bye for now and have a nice day, class. So I hope that you will stay safe. Okay?